What's up, ladies and gentlemen? One of the most precious devices to us is, of course, our phones. It has all of our data on it. It has all our favorite pictures, our memories, our texts, our favorite people. Everything seems to be on our phone these days. But with iPhones and iPads and, of course, iPods, every once in a while something goes wrong, whether it's you messing with your device and attempting to jailbreak it, or maybe it's Apple messing with your device and throwing a bad software update at it. Sometimes your phones either don't want to turn on, or maybe you even lose your phone or get it stolen. These happen pretty often, so of course, Geosoft right here decided to sponsor today's video, and they made a tool to basically make your life a little bit easier should this ever happen to you. I've tried out a bunch of recovery programs in the past, and of course, iTunes has its own little recovery program, but to tell the truth, all of them are trash. So of course, I went ahead and tried this one out, and it seems the simplest one I've ever seen, period. Because not only can it recover so many different types of data, but it's also fast, and it's not that expensive compared to other tools out there that do just as good a job, but of course are 10 times as expensive. So basically you connect your device, you scan and search, and then you recover what you wish to recover. It can recover 12 plus types of data from your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. In this case, everything from contacts to photos to your camera roll to of course your WhatsApp data and even your bookmarks. It supports all iPhones, iPad, and iPod Touch models, everything from the 7 all the way to the 3GS. Why you have the 3GS, I have no idea. All the iPads and of course the iPod Touch 6, 5, and of course 4. So here you go, here's a quick look at the site itself. They have a bunch of other cool tools as well, so go ahead and check those out. Now I do wish to mention that they have two different versions. One is of course the pro version, and the other one is the free version. The free version allows you to get a pretty nice amount of data back if you are completely desperate. However, if you really want those precious memories, for example your camera roll and of course your messages, then you will have to go and get the pro version for a little bit. So with that said, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at the pro version right here. So of course I thought we'd go ahead and test this out. So the first thing we have to do is download the application itself. So of course that's pretty straightforward. And then depending on how much data you wish to recover, go ahead and either purchase the full version or simply try out the free version. So right here we need to connect our device. I'm gonna go and do that in just one second. So now it brings you to this screen. Select the method to recover data. Recover data from iOS or iTunes backup. So iDevice connected. Alright guys, so it has been around 10 minutes, I'm actually going to go and stop it, you can pause it if you need to, yes I'm going to stop it, and we are actually going to go and recover 133 camera roll pictures, 172 photo stream pictures, there's app photos which are 21, um, unfortunately I didn't have enough time to get messages, but we did get ourselves a bunch of messages attachments, and to tell the truth, sometimes the messages attachments may actually be more valuable than the messages themselves. Now with that said guys, you can also go and get yourself your contacts back, now these are probably the the main things that I would be trying to go and get back if I were actually using this software. Viber, it's kind of important. Notes, kind of important. Calendar, iOS already kind of syncs. But let's be real, our contacts and of course our messages and what was inside of our messages and of course our photos are the most important things that we cherish. So next off, I'm going to go and hit recover and it's going to ask me to transfer the recovery files onto a a folder inside of my desktop. So of course, where should I put it? I think I'll just put it in my downloads folder, select the folder, and it will begin the recovery process. Now, as you guys can see, the recovery process is a little bit faster than the scanning process. Look how fast it's going. Um, it's getting back my messages attachments first. So of course, I can go and pause this as well. And of course, I'm going to show you guys what exactly I recovered right now. Alright, so as you guys can see, the recovery process is finished. Do you want to open the output folder now? Yes, I would like to open it, and let's take a look at what exactly this meant to recover. So it's, this is the folder right here. Um, we have at photos, camera roll, contacts, photo stream, SMS attachments, WhatsApp, and WhatsApp attachments, along with an index file. So let's go and start off with contacts. As you guys can see, there are separate files there it, that the contacts were actually separated into. There's an HTML file, a text document, a vCalendar file that actually you can actually recover this back to your device using this vCalendar file, and of course an Excel spreadsheet. So there you go, these are all my contacts. Um, here's an HTML file, then of course there's a text document, and finally there is the vCalendar which I can't exactly open on here. So I'm going to go and open the text document, there you go, these are all my contacts. All the numbers and everything were saved as well. Then of course I'm going to go and jump into photo stream, and let's take a look at what exactly I recovered from that. Alright, so as you guys can see, some cherished memories in here, awesome sunsets, and of course, what we typically take pictures of. There are actually almost a thousand pictures in here, so it managed to recover all these back onto the PC, and these would have been lost. So then, of course, there's also my typical camera roll pictures as well. So this is from a vacation I went to, and once again, all these amazing pictures would have been lost. 
And then of course, we all know that messages can be recovered. There's actually a bajillion different software out there that can actually do that. However, take a look at this. How many pieces of software do you know out there that can actually get back your SMS attachments? Look at this. These are all the little tiny artifacts of things that we sent over Messenger. Look at this every single thing recovered there's some pretty precious memories in there as well and oftentimes this is what people are trying to recover not of course the individual text as well so of course with that said guys it's a pretty awesome piece of software if you are looking to recover things back from either an ipad an iphone or even an ipod maybe you simply want to get some information back or some text back from a really old iphone recovery just to look back at some memories or maybe you really did get your device stolen and you need this software now so with that said guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're in a dire situation and need to use this, go ahead and try it out. And then of course if you want to keep using it, go ahead and purchase the pro version. With that said guys, this is going to be me, logging off.